G'day! In this video I'm going to demonstrate how I've created a program so that it will automatically pair multiple micro bits to a single master micro bit. In this example I've got four sitting here and they are ready to pair with their single LED mode. When I switch on my master micro bit I'll see them start to connect indicated by the LEDs on this micro bit. When they are finished pairing I will see they have four LEDs on their screen and I'm ready to run my code. When I press the A button, a random micro bit will start to flash and each time I hit the A button a different micro bit will flash indicating that it's chosen. Stick around and I'll show you how I achieve this. So my initial idea was that I wanted one program that all of the the dummy devices could could run. I didn't. I knew I could do it if I assigned an individual radio group to each student. I didn't want to do that. So I wanted one program that all student devices could run, and that, that they would self-assign each device a number. So whichever one came online first, it would give itself number one. Then it would. Then all of the other micro bits would be listening out. Okay. Who's got number one? If I ha if number one isn't number two isn't chosen, then I'm going to assign myself number two, and so on and so on. Um, I quickly realised that became very difficult and impractical to do. So my second idea was upon finding out that the micro bit can communicate in a radio packet its serial number, that gave me the idea. Well, my controller micro bit, when it hears each of the unique serial numbers, it can store them in an array. And then that way, I can ping back to those particular micro bits so they're only listening out for their unique serial number, rather than having to change radio groups or, or have different programs on each of the receiver micro bits. So let's work out how I did that. So here we have the code for the, the student device or the receiving device. In the start, I had to set up um, to, to turn on the serial number. So if this isn't used, then it's not going to be communicating out its device serial number with that ra each radio packet. So what I wanted to do was when it received a number, it was going to only look up for its device serial number. So it's starting by sending out its serial number to the teacher micro bit, but I only want it to action anything when it hears back its own serial number. That's when it's gonna turn on. So to show you how that works, when I first, have, uh, first turn it on, it's constantly sending out its serial number with a five second pause. I had to put the pause in there because it was duplicating entries on my teacher micro bit because it was sending it out too quickly. So if I put a pause in there and that's gonna plot a LED right in the middle just to indicate that it is currently looking for that connection, sending out its serial number. When it does make that connection, so it receives its serial number back, so it's established that the teacher has logged that it's participating in this particular activity. I am, I've just used a, a Boolean here to indicate that it is now connected and the feedback is the, the four dots on the screen. So it's now ready to go. When it receives its number a second time, then that indicates that it has been chosen for a question or for whatever activity it might be. So it's going to flash and then it'll reset that Boolean back to its waiting and listening. So here we have the code for the teacher's micro bit. I'll save the on start for a minute and I'll just get into what happens when it receives a number. So when all of the student micro bits are turning on, they're constantly sending out their serial number. So when it receives, the teacher micro bit receives that number, it's adding that particular number, so the serial packet number, it's adding that to a, an array. And I've got an empty array and it's adding it to the end. Because I'm wanting to look up that array and choose a random number, I've had to create a variable to track the length of that list because it's going to look up what place in that list and then it's going to retrieve that number from there to send out. 
So once it's received that particular number, it then goes ahead and relays that back to the student micro bit because that in turn stops that particular micro bit from continuing to blast out its serial number. So it's just trying to prevent some of the radio noise that, that's generated. What else it's doing is, is I've also set it up so that it's going to indicate on the teacher's micro bit screen how many devices are connected. So there's 25 LEDs, so potentially um, we can indicate 25 connected um, student micro bits in here. So that's essentially what this, this is doing. So I've got an X value and a Y value, so that when that X value reaches four, it shifts it down to the next line so that it'll light up from left to right and then continue down. So one, two, three, four, five micro bits connected, six through 10, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's all that's doing. When the, when the teacher hits the A button, so that's when I'm wanting to randomly pick from my array list, and then I'm sending out the actual number that it's pulled out of that array. So those numbers are the serial numbers. So remember that the student micro bits are only going to action when they receive back their serial number. So just to finish off with my startup for this code, we've created the array. We've had to set the list, uh, set a variable for the list length, and I had to start it at negative one. And I was having a problem where one of the, the random, random values that I was selecting from the array was, was not working. And so I worked out that the first entry in an empty array is actually position zero. So we're choosing from zero to however many micro bits we get collected. So I had to start the list length at negative one so that when a new entry comes in, add one, the first entry will be at position zero. And then we've also got our coordinates X and Y variables to help set that. One issue I do have and then I'm gonna try and troubleshoot is that because a student could potentially reset or turn off and on their micro bit and I've already got an entry in the um, array, they can potentially have multiple entries into this array, which the outcome for them is that it means that they're more likely to be randomly chosen um, because they've got their serial number in there more often, which probably isn't the worst thing. But I, I'm still trying to work out a way that I can find uh, so that I can place a condition so that only new serial packet numbers are going to be, not that one, only new serial packet numbers are going to be um, added to, it is that one. So only new serial packet numbers are going to be added to the, to the array. And um, what I'm not sure is how to come up with a way to look up the array to scan through every single serial number that's been recorded in there and confirm that this is a new serial number. So that would essentially stop anything that's already in there from being duplicated and only allow in the, the new unique numbers that don't exist in there already. So that's a work in progress. If I figure out a way to do that, I'll, I'll add to this video. If you have any ideas on how I can achieve that, I'd be really interested to hear. Please um, get in contact with me and let me know.